In this screencast, I'd like to take a moment to show how you can create your own course in its learning. Creating your own course in its learning could be a very valuable tool if you'd like to collaborate with other teachers or maybe you'd like to make a PLC course where you can share your PLC notes and or assessments and things. So I'm going to start by going up here to Courses and I'm going to click on All Courses so I can get more of my course creation options. At the top of the screen, I'll see a green Add button. I'm going to go ahead and click the Add button, and I'm going to go here to my title, and I'm going to call it the title of my course. Your school will come up here, and we're going to hit Save. At this point, my course is created, but before I use it, I may want to look at a couple settings first. If I'd like to share this course with other people, I would go here to my Participants tab, and I would want to add any participants that I'd like to have in this course with me. So check the boxes below to make sure that the people that you're searching for will be searched. And we have a fake account here just called Sam Student. I'm going to search for Sam Student and make him a teacher in my course. Here's Sam Student. I'll scroll all the way to the bottom, and I'd like to make Let's say this is a teacher, and I really want to add another teacher to my course. So I'm going to make him an administrator, add him to the course. At this point now, when I go to Participants, I'll click up here for Participants again, I will see that Sam Student and I are both in here as administrators for this course. One last place that I would go before I finish and get ready to start using this course is I would go to my Settings, and I can look at some of the different settings that are available to me here. The functions that I'd like to be available, and I would probably leave all of these turned on unless you know that you don't need them. Choose Start Page. This is the page that when someone clicks on My Amazing PLC course, what do they see first? So you can actually select what you want that to be once you start putting some, some items in there. I'm going to click Allow Withdrawal so that the the teacher can withdraw themselves from my from my class if they would like to or from my my course that I've created here and I'm going to go ahead and hit save the last setting that you may want to look at is adding your learning objectives and we have a tutorial on this, but I won't go into this, but you can go and find and add your learning objectives. And at this point, once you've added the participants you want to be in the course, and you've looked at the settings, your course is ready to go. You can go into the resources and begin building the resources you would like to live inside of this course. Again, this is how you can create a course for sharing resources with a PLC or another group of teachers, or if you just want to create your own course just to, to kind of play as a sandbox learn more about how its learning works. Thank you.